Holy Jesus. What is that? No, 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 no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I think, uh, I think I might want to pay attention to this instead. Mm. What's going on YouTube? Legend here once again. This time at you again with some more Honkai Star Rail. And I actually want to talk about Black Swan. She is coming around the corner. She is right there. So close I can, I can feel it. Now, there's one thing that I feel that people are going to be constantly asking when it comes to Black Swan, right? And what I think that is, is whether you get her E1, her first idol on, or her S1, which is her signature light cone. I'm gonna give you the answer straight up right now, okay? I say E1. Now, this, this is not a landslide decision. This is actually pretty debatable because her light cone is pretty good. It is pretty crap, right? It's pretty great gonna boost her damage up quite a bit the fact of the matter is I still put the S1 better than that so in order to kind of put context on this and why I decided that let's talk about her S1 now Black Swan's S1 essentially what it does is it specifically says when in battle enemies afflicted with wind shear burn bleed shock will have the corresponding element resistance reduced by 25% respectively. What does that mean? Essentially, to kind of give that context, Ron May's ultimate, when maxed out, takes away 25, um, lets you ignore 25% of the enemy's resistance to whatever, to, to all the elements. Black Swan shreds all that, right? So, earlier I thought that, when, when I first looked at this Eidolon, I initially thought, I might have said it in a different video too, I initially thought that, okay, you need to just have a dot character on that team in order for it to reduce that resistance. But there's one thing that I missed. Black Swan's ultimate, when her, her epiphany effect is, is up, her Arcana stocks count as all of those different dots. Meaning that when you burst, she is going to just shred the enemy resistance by 25%. She is essentially kind of doubling down when it comes to what Ron May can do. I think when, when it comes to that Eidolon, not only does it make her very powerful in the dot teams that she's in very powerful, it makes her a very good sub DPS option or, or, or nihility option that is going to be very good when pairing with any character, right? This is now putting her on par with Pella um, and, and Silver Wolf when it comes to debuffers. Actually, might make her even better because she's doing 20%, she's doing 20% defense, part of her base kit. She's doing her Arcana stacks, which is which is additional damage because they do do damage on their own. And then she's also reducing resistance by another 25%, right? When it comes to, but keep in mind, these is only elements that do do dots. So it's not gonna affect quantum, it's not gonna affect imaginary, okay? Now, this is great. This is a fantastic Eidolon. And another reason why I think this island is going to be great. Now you didn't hear from me here, but we all know that Acheron's coming. And Acheron is going to be a Nihility Lightning unit, right? Now I don't think she's going to work like Kafka, but at the same time, what if she performed better the more Nihility units you have on the team? What if she did do that? Well, if a Black Swan with an E1 I think she might be a, a wonderful teammate when it comes to, to Akron, if she has that. You know, if she doesn't, then, you know, they're, they're, of course she do other options. She still might be a good option, of course. Um, but if she has that E1, ooh, that might be beautiful, right? So I truly think that E1 is fantastic. But, 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 like I said before, it is not a landslide decision here. It is close. And because it's close, I want to talk about, because I want to let you guys do this, make the decision on your own, even though I made my recommendation. Let's talk about her light cone. So her light cone with that beautiful artwork right there, right? 
give some good attack, you know, give some good HP, yada, yada, right? But here's what it is, right? So it increases the wearer's effect hit rate by 40%, okay? Now, when the wearer deals damage to an enemy afflicted with wind shear, burn, shock, or bleed, which we just went over when our ultimate is up, they will individually gain one stack of profit. This effect can stack up to four times. In a single battle, each type of dot can only generate one profit. Every stack of profit increases the wearer's attack by 5% and the dot they deal with um, will ignore 7.2% of the defense. So in short, that's gonna be 28.8% defense being ignored and then obviously 20% um, attack added, right? So that is a lot of effects and that's going to be cracked, especially when she's ignoring defense when she has seven stacks of Arcana, especially when she's shredding defense with her skill by 20%. And then she's ignoring 28% defense on top of that and getting some more attack, which is very important for her. She's gonna be hitting hard with this thing. She's gonna be hitting very hard with it, right? But the fact of the matter, there is other options when it comes to using this light cone. Not as powerful as this one. I'm gonna say that, not as powerful as this one, but she does have other options. So now if you look at the Nihility light cones right here, right? Now, I typically, say that when it comes to her light cones, you wanna, you really, really wanna have a light cone that does give her effect hit rate, because she wants at least 120% effect hit rate. So a light cone like Eyes of the Prey is going to be fantastic, because at S5, it's gonna give 40% um, effect hit rate like her signature light cone does. Um, and then it's going to increase dots by another 48%. This is, this is the best four star option you can choose right here. This is a fantastic option. I would actually just say this right here is your second place right off the bat, okay? So here's another option right here. So if you have that, if you have this right here, then that even satisfies you more if you wanna go, if you wanna go for Eidolons. I'm not telling you you need to do that, but if if you go for Eidolons, then as long as you have this right here, you're gonna be doing just fine. And now for those of you who were here um, in the, I believe it was 1.1, right? 1.1 event. Yeah, a lot of you are going to have uh, before the tutorial starts, before the tutorial mission starts. So the tutorial light cone here. And this is also another light cone that gives you 40% hit rate. And when the wearer's attack, when the wearer attacks defense reduced units, they regenerate eight energy. This is also great because even though it's kind of neglecting her damage output, which you really want to put in, which is why I put the sample of light cone over this, but instead, you're going to be able to keep a much better uptime when it comes to her burst. But essentially, if you can keep this, it, like if this helps you keep have better uptime when it comes to her burst, then this will end up being a phenomenal light cone right here. Another great option, and it gives you the effect hit rate that you need. And then if you don't have either of those light cones um, at S5 or, or at all, then you still have the option to do good night sleep well which is going to hit very hard when it comes to building black swan is going to be a little tough because you're probably not going to be able to hit 120 effect hit rate without it getting some on the light cone but this still is going to be able to hit hard especially if you have it at s5 it's it's doing it's putting in some numbers it's doing its work right so this is another option that you do have now if you don't really have these options then i'm, I'm then her signature light cone is starting to take more of a priority here even if you want to put her in a real support, supportive DPS role, you can use this. I still think it's kind of copium to use something like this here, uh, Lucas Light Cone, but it is an option that you can use. And then besides that, I actually you know this isn't, a, and this right here, this isn't a bad option right here. It gives you good base stats right here. It's not giving you effect hit rate, but it's giving you break effect, which, you know, she can use. I mean, a lot of dot units like to have some break effect. It does still give a 40% uh, dot increase right here. I still put samples like cone up above it, but you know, and then it gives you some energy. So there's that too, right? So kind of the best of both worlds when it comes to that part right there. But yeah, so I mean, that is another option that you can use. Now, you do have all these different options. So when I say that, I say, hey, if you're trying to pick between S1 and E1, I'd say slap on one of those light cones on her and go for that E1. But hey, you know, this is only if you're planning to spend, all right? If you guys are trying to, if you guys are trying to test your luck and keep in mind that Sparkle's coming next, all right? And after that, Icaron's coming after that. So keep that guy that in mind. 
and maybe E0 S0 might be the way to go for you, okay? So don't think that you have to do this. But remember that if you if you are going off the deep end like like me, of course, then that's my recommendation when it comes to that. E1, I'm picking E1 every time, every day, okay? But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment your thoughts down below. What are you going for? Are you sticking with E0, S0? You're going for E1, or you're like, you know what? I'm gonna go for that S1. I need that like on. I need that artwork on my account. Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you like the content I do give you. Subscribe to the channel so you get more content like this. Down to here, let you know.